Hi, I'm Liz. I'm a certified technician. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix an LED code of 3-1, which is typically a problem with your CMOS battery. So I'm going to show you how to go about replacing that. And if you find this video in any way helpful, please like and share and subscribe for more great content. And let's go ahead and do it. There are two kinds of CMOS battery, wired and a cradle kind. First, we will discuss the wired kind. If you don't have this kind, proceed further down the video where we show you how to do this with the cradle kind. So with the wired kind, you have to locate the two plastic tabs on the side, put one finger on each side and gently pull up, being careful not to break that cradle. Once you break that cradle, it's extremely unforgiving. Sometimes it damages the motherboard to the point where you can't use it anymore. So you have to be careful. Okay, so now that I've removed it, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back in here. And it's just a regular plug, not overly hard. And as you can see, once it's in there securely, it's good to go. Now the cradle kind of CMOS battery. Now the cradles vary drastically from model to model. Uh, this is the most common kind, so we'll demonstrate it on that. But if you find your kind looks different of cradle for your CMOS battery, then you may have to change or adjust the way you do it. Sometimes there's a flap or a piece of metal you have to move. But for this kind, you take the, the tool right there, the screwdriver, you set it there and you push it to the left gently, being careful not to break the cradle because once you break it, it's very hard to fix it. So you have to be very gentle with it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and slide it back in there, as you can see. And let me just go over some other things that you might run into after replacing the battery real quick. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is that once you replace the battery, it resets BIOS, which will often cause a date and time error. We have a video down below on how to solve that error, because sometimes when we're fixing things, we break other things too. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Um, also keep in mind that sometimes people get LED code 31 confused with 13, because it's all a matter of, you know, what does it blink first? Does it blink once first? or does it blink three times first? So be cognizant of that. Um, and if you notice that perhaps you did read it wrong, we do have a video, once again, in the description down below on how to uh, fix a 1-3 LED coded versus 3-1. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out. <laughs>